Hello and welcome to Refuse. As always, I'm Plume Noir and I just wanted to do a little intro to this video. Uh, my son and I had, um, we got tickets. It was actually through a vendor at work for, uh, free movie passes to a 7 p.m., uh, pre-screen, I guess you would say, Thursday night of Avengers Endgame. And so we, we went. I was kind of worried I'd have to say he was my intern, but is it really being a child just an internship to adulthood when you think about it? <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to do a quick little intro um, because this video, which will be audio only, um, was right as we were leaving. In fact, it is the drive home from the movie theater. And I have to say it is pouring outside. It is raining cats and dogs. And so I wanted to apologize in advance, doing my best to clean up the audio, but I mean, you, you'll hear my windshield wipers, uh, you'll hear you know, some traffic, the rain is just pounding on the roof of the car. So I wanted to apologize for that in advance. Um, and secondly, this was all, you know, kind of, you know, on the fly, you know, first impression, fresh out of the movie. Now we did try to keep it as spoiler free as possible. Um, you know, there's a few things that, there goes my bird. Uh, there's a few things we did mention, um, that you could into it from seeing other movies. Um, you know, for example, the time travel aspect, which was pretty much just set up. There goes my bird, you see? Um, <laughs> the time travel aspect that was set up at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, but, you know, we, we try to keep as spoiler free as possible. And, uh, and there's a few things that, I wanted to go into that we didn't just have the time to. And, you know, minor details. Like, uh, how did the snapping get explained to the MCU citizens? You know, the general population. You know, to see half the people turn to dust. Uh, did the Avengers have a press conference and say, oh yeah, Thanos did it. Since everyone seems to know it was Thanos. And once again, I do apologize for the uh, sound, the weather is just really bad out. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you will enjoy this. This is fresh, um, right out of seeing the movie, and maybe in a couple days, once people have had a chance after opening weekend, we'll do a, a spoiler prop. Uh, you know, a spoiler video because there's so much we wanted to talk about, but we can't talk to anyone. So, all right, as always, thanks for watching and enjoy the video. I need to kill a bird. Hello and welcome to Refuse. As always, I'm Plume Noir and I do have my son Lake with me. Uh, we're going to do something similar to when we went and saw Captain Marvel. Um, maybe a little bit of background noise because we're actually driving, we're leaving the theater and it is raining. So you're trying to keep things kind of quiet, you know, the whole thump 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 of the, uh, of the uh, windshield wipers. And uh, everything. Go ahead and say something. Hello. <laughs> he is really. And this movie affected him. Um, you know, we're gonna go kind of spoilery in the in a minute, but for as far as the non-spoiler stuff, um, I'm gonna say this right up front. There is no end credits teaser. There's no thing about uh, so and so will return like they usually say that. Um, there is one little tiny, tiny, I don't want to give it away, but at the very, very, very end of the credits, there is a tiny little sound effect thing, I guess you could say. Um, I don't want to spoil it. I might have even missed it had I not known it was going to be there. In fact, the people that were sitting next to us, uh, they, uh, they were talking over it and kind of, they missed it, so... I pointed it out to Link because I knew it was coming. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, before we go into any type of spoiler stuff, um, what did you think of the movie? I think it was amazing. I really couldn't find any issue with the movie. Now, I do have I, I, minor quibbles. I have minor quibbles, but I'm going to say this: I love the movie. Uh, you may not remember. You may have been too young because you know I've, I took it to the first Avengers movie, and I didn't really like the first Avengers movie. I thought it was only okay. Uh, Age of Ultron had a couple good scenes, but for the most part, I didn't like Age of Ultron. Um, 
but I really liked Infinity War. And uh, as far as Endgame, it, Endgame is good. Um, it does have humor. Uh, it has a lot of humor, which really helps the tension because overall the movie is a very dark movie. Yeah, I can't see you. Sorry. If, I, remember, I, I, I am driving right now, so if you're trying to get my attention, I can't see you. Um, yeah, I wanted to interrupt you here for a second. Well, you're talking about it, it does have humor. It's a very dark, dark movie. I do admit the humor to me felt a little like a roller coaster going up and down, up and down. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, pretty much how it should be. You know, it gives your mind a rest to, uh, to kind of take a break and process things so that they can stab you. You know, kind of let the wound here a little bit and so they can stab you all over again. It's, it's hard, man. It's hard. <laughs> um, everyone, I, I think, you know, you're, you're dealing with so many characters and, uh, it's really good how they really kind of gave an opportunity to most everyone. You know, there are people who did die before the snapping. Who, uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I mean, they 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 weaved in the television shows, uh, and, and by the television television shows, I mean Age of the Shield, which I never really got into, and uh, uh, Age of Carter, which I did like. You know, they did weave in some of the stuff like that, and it kind of, you know, I don't think that's really much of a spoiler. Yeah. So, um, you know, we'll go into some spoilers. We're not going to, I'm, I'm going to call this light spoilers. Uh, we're not going to talk about, you know, how things happen, who lives, who dies, but there are a few things that I do want to kind of talk about. Um, you know, and I'm going to start it off with, um, it's no surprise we knew from like seeing the quantum suits we saw when we watched Ant-Man and the Wasp they had that big thing at the end you know watch out for a time vortex so we knew okay yep there's going to be time travel you know that was just a huge thing so yeah the movie does have time travel that's a huge part of it now the thing about it is and, and I was telling you Link about this um ooh. I almost slid right through that intersection. It is pouring rain here, so I'm trying to keep things from fogging up. And, uh, so, yeah, I kind of keep things. And trying not to die while we film this. That would suck. Um, but anyway, the time travel. Um, it's kind of weird because we have the snapping. Yes. And then the movie kind of jumps five years. There's and a lot that can happen in five years. And I, I don't think I'm really giving things away because we know there's another Doctor Strange movie. We know there's a Spider-Man movie Wait, coming out. Strange? I believe there is. They're working on it. There's definitely another um, Black Panther movie. The Spider-Man movie comes out in just a few months. Um, Be the first to see that. Yeah, what was that? June, July or whatever? Yeah. Um, so we know that some parts of the snap game will be reversed. Now, it looks like we're still judged by other things that happen in the movie. You know, um, there's, I, I don't want to give it away, but there's, there is a time skip. The movie does take place five years after the snapping. The snapping gets reversed. So, what? We have all the people who died and, and, and are now like five minutes, uh, five years into the future. By this, and, and like I said, we know there's a Spider-Man movie coming out, so I feel safe that I can say this. You know, Spider-Man's back alive. You know, we do see a scene with him in school, and he's, you know, seeing his friends. But did every single one of his friends get dusted? Yeah, what happened during that? Yeah, I... wouldn't there be some of his friends that got dusted and some didn't? So there'd be, like, some uh, 16-year-olds and some of his buddies can now buy beer for them because they're 21. <laughs> I like to imagine like this, Thanos just really hated school and tried to spare them. <laughs> well, no, because they're all, you know, uh, Peter and all his friends were all, you know, um, yeah. they, they were all young. He didn't know his friends, you know, were 21 like they should be. You know, like, well, if they survived the snapping. So. That does kind of bother me a little bit because we saw in an earlier scene after the five year gap, there is no children around. There is a scene where Cap is explaining everything that happens, recapping, but he 
doesn't really say anything about this school and how it's been affected, how it's affected normal so circumstances. They talk about governments, but they don't talk about people. Yeah, you're right. I don't recall there being any kids that... Did all kids get snapped? Yeah, I'm serious. There were zero kids in this movie. Yeah, except that's... kids that were born after the snap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't want to give anything away, but that's a good observation. I did not even catch on to that. That was good. Actually, no, wait, I'm wrong. There is one kid who survived, and that was Scott Lane's kid. No, no, she didn't. Oh. Yeah, she did. Scott oh, Lane. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's right. That's Okay, we're getting into hot, to spoiler things, but, um, yeah, you're right, she did. I was, for some reason, thinking, oh, yeah, she, uh, well, since we gave it away, she did survive, and she is one of the reasons why we know that time did not reset five years into the past at the, at the end of the movie, mm -hmm. because she's still older, and, uh, so, yeah, we do get to see everyone starting to come together, um, you know, uh, you know, Captain Marvel does make her way. You know, she's helping. And yeah, they they did the... The, the movie kind of feels like two years ago. Um, in the comic time. And there's something I can't give away at the very, very, very end of the movie. But, you know, if people see the movie, they'll know what I'm talking about. The other thing is, we do have Captain Marvel. And man, the, the Carl Manvers jokes are going to start up. Because they give her that really short haircut. And it did look good in the comics, and it looks bad on Brie Larson. <laughs> um, but thankfully, she wasn't the, you know, um, deus ex machina that solved everything, which is what I was really worried that I can't see when you do that. I'm sorry. Um, Just go you, ahead and say something. You, you do, I, I do want to mention this. She <laughs> did feel like a deus ex machina when you first see her. Because she's... Okay, don't say what she does, because she does have a really pivotal part in the very beginning. Um, yeah. And yeah, this movie starts off, you know, pretty, pretty gut punch right at the beginning. And, uh, and yeah, there's, there, there are people who, who die that are not coming back. Um, and there are some questions answered. Um, you know, uh, who can lift Thor's hammer? I... I always thought <laughs> there's some great scenes in there with that. Um, oh, and one other thing is the... It's a long movie. You know, it's a... Three hours. It's, they say it's three hours, two minutes, but I timed it. Uh, you know, we went to a thing. One of the, our vendors at work um, had a thing that uh, we were able to go see uh, the movie for free, see it a night early. Um, you know, there was some swag, free refreshments, and, uh, so I timed it. Luckily, there were no trailers because of this. We didn't have to sit through any trailers. Um, I don't know if it's that case at other showings or, uh, so it started right at 7 p.m., and I noticed that the credits started rolling at 9.51, I believe it was. And, uh, yeah, well, then we sat there for about, what, 15 minutes of credits? So was it really fifteen minutes? It was about that. So I'm not sure. Maybe they were including the credits with the uh, um, with the runtime. So, um, so yeah, the I just say about the third act. You really, you know, you can't get up and go to the bathroom. Uh, we didn't get up. We stayed in our seats the whole time. Um, but yeah, there's no bathroom break time or anything. I need to. There we go. Speed up the wipers a little bit. Uh, so yeah, it's and, and that the, the basically the ending battle is it, kind of like a callback to you know uh, Avengers uh, Infinity, Infinity War. War. And uh, yeah, there, there was one problem. Did you notice that scene? Did you notice the Carol core? No, I didn't. <laughs> um, getting close to where it's flooding here, so. Um, trying to hold this. Um, there's a scene, I got it, uh, there's a scene where, in, in, in the end, I'm not going to say anything, that, you know, but Carol comes, you know, leading the charge, and she gets joined by all women. And, like, every single female that's living uh, joins the fight and charges with her. Did you catch that? I, I caught that. I did catch that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, that was a little bit hokey. You know, I, I know the cold girl power or whatever, but, you know, with Carol at the helm, 
and all the stuff, all the blowback that they got from the things she said, the Brie Larson has said, and uh, yeah, that part was really hokey, <laughs> and uh, but you know, it, it was only a second. You know, it was like, and I thought it was pretty cool, nonetheless. Yeah, I know, love, I just love all the characters. Yeah, I mean to see some of them, it was only five seconds, and it was just another part of the battle, but. It did seem kind of obvious. Um, there were some times that, and, and maybe it's just me, I hate the um, steady cam. I think that's what it's called. You know, you watch a lot of these TV shows, and they do the thing where the camera is always moving and yeah. kind of bouncing. In the very first scene, they were using that a lot, and it was starting to make me a little bit seasick. Um, I I definitely felt that when I was watching. Do me a favor, hold this for a second. Yep. Okay, can I put toward the middle while we're talking? Because uh, we're at a point now where I need both hands. And we're gonna turn this down a little bit here. You don't have to shove it in my face. I'm not. This is we're we're kind of driving and uh, kind of doing this on the fly. I got it. Thank you. And I'm battling trying to keep the windows from fogging up, and you know I'm sure you can hear the rain and the bouncy roads and. People driving like idiots. Um, yeah, it's 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 really really good. Um, and I'm gonna say, you know, sometimes with movies, you know, with long movies, um, you get to a point where it's like, yeah, this movie needs to have stopped right now. Like when we saw um, uh, the Last Jedi, there was a part about. 30 minutes before the end of the movie where I thought, yeah, this movie should have ended by now. It feels padded out. Um, I didn't really think this movie felt padded out. There were a few scenes. There's a... Um, uh, I'm going to call, call it the Hulk autograph scene. <laughs> that was really funny. It could have been taken out. Um, but it really helped some of the levity. You get to see what's going on in the world five years in the future. You know, uh, Steve Rogers is running a survivors group, which seems like the type of thing that Captain America would do. Tony Stark's in denial about yeah. the whole thing. It's honestly really good. What I will say, and you know, my, I don't think it's really that much of a spoiler, we got to see Rescue again. Uh, nope. That's uh, Pepper Potts and her arm. Oh, Rescue! Yeah, I like Rescue. And uh, Although, I don't like Gwen Paltrow. She's Gwen Paltrow is like really aging weird, and so every time they showed her, I'm like, Ugh. please put the mask back down, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, uh, ma'am, please step away from the camera and let us put some Vaseline on the camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the other thing. Did you, did you notice they had like everyone? You know, everyone was uh, um, reprising their roles. You know, uh, the Natalie Portman was yeah. in the back, um, and of course, you know, people like. Uh, um, you know, uh, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer was back. It was nice. It was really, really good. Um, I can think of one person who wasn't, who did not come back. You've already mentioned. I won't go into any spoilers. Well, I guess a couple. The collector didn't reappear. So uh, I think he was killed in. Uh, he was killed during the uh, Infinity War event. They never say if he's really killed or not. You remember he. Uh, he appears when uh, Thanos makes the illusion, and you know, and then when uh, Thanos' illusion fades, you know, uh, he waves bye bye. Which, if you look in the background, it's a really funny thing. I didn't notice that. Yeah, um, but they don't say if he's actually killed when he's on nowhere. Probably, but you know, it's once Thanos started like taking off uh, the armor, he wasn't, ki you know, killing indiscriminately in uh, Infinity War. Yeah, and that's the other thing about this movie. This movie has um, a really good thing about uh, the twist uh, and how, even if it's five years in the future, how can there be a big battle? Um, a lot of time travel shenanigans, and like I said, I don't quite understand how time travel works. And they do point that out in the movie that it this doesn't isn't work. Back to the future. Yeah, it doesn't work the way you think. It's a funny scene. Um, but there are people who died multiple deaths. And I don't want to give away anything. <laughs> um, so I'm not quite sure how someone could die. Uh, I don't want to say it, but 
even though they came from the past to the future, then they die and then have to go back to the past to live out their life to die again? I'm getting some Futurama feels right now. <laughs> That's always a good thing, though. Um, so yeah, I liked it. I really did like it. Um, I'm trying to think anything to uh, watch out for. You know, I have a feeling that uh, you know people who are really, really into all the shows, all the MCU stuff, um, will really just love it. They, the Russo brothers, the directors, really did their homework on this. It and was amazing. It felt like all the years that we spent building this universe came together in one big, beautiful pile of fandom. Yeah. And, you know, I I know this is the end of Phase 3. I bet, in fact, I think Spider-Man, uh, uh, Far From Home, is technically the last Phase 3 movie. Um, and I think it's supposed to act like an epilogue, but... Yeah. Um, so we have no idea what Phase 4 is going to contain. Um, and I don't know how far they really plan these things. Because uh, there have been a few little bit teeny tiny retcons throughout the uh, movies. But... Um, yeah, with the time travel stuff involved, where they go to other times, this is stuff that's kind of been theorized by people who have uh, seen, when the movie was being filmed, it was like, uh, seeing old outfits, you know, like, things that, like, Captain America's Avengers outfit, so they, yeah. they were shooting things, so I don't think we're really into spoilery, but, uh, um, yeah, oh, it's, I this mean, is one of those movies that I think you'll... Like, I know probably two hours from now, I'm going to go, wait a minute, how did, you know, it's a big popcorn, you know, budget film. And, yeah. uh, you know, this is one that I think I'll buy on uh, Blu-ray. Oh my god, I just had an idea for Phase 4. <laughs> What's your idea for Phase 4? There are some characters who went back and retconned themselves. Uh -huh. I won't say who. Uh-huh. But I think there's going to be multiple versions of characters running around. Well, that's what a certain character was trying to stop from happening. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Actually, uh, they described it as a timeline paradox where it gets multiple rifty, wolfy, timey-wimey things. Okay, yeah, please don't quote New Doctor Who. You know I don't like New Doctor Who. It wasn't New Doctor Who. He, he, the timey-wimey ball stuff, that's New Doctor Who. That's, uh, that's, uh, is that the 10th Doctor that says that? The 11th Doctor? It's the 11th. Okay. You know, as far as I'm concerned, Doctor Who ended... Once they started to have a budget, yeah, I like I the can old see doctor. The dislikes. Oh, that's okay. I'm old school. Uh, uh, Tom Baker is my favorite doctor. Okay, and you have no idea who that is. All right, let's get back to our <laughs> connected universe here. Uh, yeah. So we still have another Guardians of the Galaxy because uh, James Gunn is back for that. Oh, I'm excited, which I'm happy about. Um. But we already know Gamora died in uh, Infinity War, so that whole thing, the whole Star Lord Gamora thing, is uh, um, it's it's honestly one big twist around. But I'm just I'm glad to see Mantis. Uh, what's her name? The actress that plays her, like Paul something. I'd love her. She's a really good actor <laughs> for her character. She was just phenomenal. I didn't even realize there was an actress. I thought it was a lot of it was CG. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, I thought the special effects in this movie, oh my god, there are some times where there's so much going on. And, you know, yeah, that ending battle is really the, the battle to end all battles. It is, it's good. It's hard to think. I, I can understand why people would be, um, you know, where do we go from here? You know, how do you how do you start over? <laughs> and I think that's kind of the whole theme of the movie. It's really beginning anew. Yeah. I mean, there is a lot of passing of the torches because unlike with comic books, you know, humans age. And, they uh, die. Yeah. Um, you know, Chris Evans can't play Captain America forever. Robert Downey Jr. can't play Tony Stark forever. I, I, I can say these because we know their contracts are up, and I'm not going to say anything about characters, but it's long been speculated. Because um, Robert Downey Jr., I think he's in his 50s. I noticed he was looking really old at some points. Yeah. And, uh, so, because um, that's... He's, 
he was one of the Brat Packers, you know, and uh, that means nothing to you because I'm old. Um, but yeah, I, all in all, I uh, I liked the movie. I thought it was good. May I put some final thoughts on something? Sure. There is something I really loved about this movie, and that's costume design. I always love costumes. I think they're one of the most interesting parts about heroes, besides backstory. Uh-huh. I feel like when we see these suits that were for the new... The quantum suits? Yes. I feel like we don't get to see enough of them, and the suits we do see are not really interesting, because you won't notice a lot of some of the little details, yeah. like on the new Iron Man suits. I didn't notice this. I noticed it like halfway through, but Iron Man's new suit... Not the quantum suit. It has the original color design of the comics when the first Iron Man comics came out. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a beautiful reference, but I think it went over a lot of people's heads. That probably, there's so much I'm sure they put in. I mean, there's they're pulling from 11 years of Marvel movies at this point. And not just that, but you know, the deep history and uh, you know of the lore of the comics. And I'm trying to think. I noticed a couple comics Easter eggs. I'm trying to think of some. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to think of some I saw. This is one of those movies I think will require a second viewing. But three hours, I don't know when I'm going to have time to sit down and watch it again for three hours. There, oh, sorry. I was just just about to say, maybe in a couple weeks I'll catch a matinee. Maybe on a Sunday morning we'll go see it again once the crowds have died down. Yeah. There is something I do love about this. We do get to see more of armors and more of the actual Thanos as, Thanos as general, as a human being. We see his philosophy and how he changes over the years. Yeah. It's really interesting. You know, Thanos was really the best part of Infinity War. And I think he's one of the few characters that can say he's going to do something and then go do it. Yeah. He was the only character I've ever seen in a movie to say he's going to do something. I'm going to rip half the universe and he does it. You know, I would have to say Thanos is my favorite, most sympathetic, genocidal madman. <laughs> it's better than comic Thanos, in my opinion. I, I, I like his motivation a slight bit better um, than... A slight uh, bit better? He's trying to please death well, in the comics. Yeah. He's a madman. He's known as... Deadpool mad- is married to death. Okay, you know, we don't talk about Deadpool. You know <laughs> how I feel about Deadpool. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you... you Let's get the train back on the track. I think we're about wrapping up. We've actually been going for a little bit here. Yeah. And I'm not even sure how well this is going to... Uh, come through. Yeah, come through with pouring rain, trying to keep the windows from fogging up. Michigan roads that suck, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, fix the damn roads. Yeah, get on that, Governor uh, uh, Whitmer. You. Wow, you went full political there. I did. I didn't vote for Whitmer. Um... I voted for, uh, what's his face? Uh, 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 James Jones, James Jones. Uh, I liked him. But... <gasps> Whoa, calm down, calm down. What? I, I, uh, I just had a hypothesis that's too spoiler, spoilery. I'll tell you afterwards. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, it wraps everything up. And so, a uh, uh, final thought is I really like how the movie wrapped everything up. You know, character arcs ended. It's not all happy. That's, you know, like life, like life, some things are happy, you know, some things aren't. And some things continue and some things get passed on. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was good. It was very good. So, uh, and do you have any last thoughts? Uh, no, I do not. Huddle. Slide into the intersection, kind of hydroplaning there. I think I got out everything I needed to say about this amazing movie. All right, well, I think we'll wrap things up. Let me flip this around. Oh, I almost dropped it. So, yeah, we've been going on about 26 minutes here, and I really hope this comes through. So, All no. right, well, any last thoughts? I, oh, I already asked you that, right? Yes. All right. So, yeah, we're almost home, so I'll wrap this up. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I will be back shortly. Thanks again, uh, Link, for being on. All right. I appreciate you bringing me on. All right. Catch you later.